So we have a super exciting refresh on AWS Security Hub. And what you can see here in the center is AWS Security Hub running. And on the left side, you have all these different security services. For example, in terms of threat detection and management, you have Amazon Gut Duty that's able to look across your AWS environment, both control plane, data plane, seeing what's going on and flagging out to you when there's a security finding. And then you have vulnerability management using Amazon Inspector that can look up, for example, for missed patches, tech to CVEs and all of that. And Security Hub itself has posture management that can look out for security misconfiguration, say a security group that is excessively open to the internet, and also sensitive data discovery and management where you're using Amazon Macy to look across your S3 buckets to see whether these buckets contain objects that have sensitive data like personal, the identifiable information, credit card information, and so on. And what's really powerful right now is that all these are automatically correlated into an exposure feature which will develop a potential attack path that you can look into specifically and see where are the possible ways a threat actor could gain access into the workloads or resources. And then from there, you can take action to remediate against any of this misconfiguration, any of this potential attack path into the resources. So here is the refresh console. You have the threat summary that takes in the information from God Duty. You have the exposure summary that we are taking from all this and correlating across multiple security findings. So all this the widgets that are directly available from here. Resource summary, security coverage. So on the left side, here is the key feature that we're going after is exposure. So when I click over into exposure, you can see that there is one with low severity and it states the following, all right? Exposure findings are potential security issues in your environment that are generated by correlating different traits, such as software vulnerabilities, misconfigurations, and other security findings. Prioritize your remediation by triaging and investigating your most critical exposure findings before analyzing individual findings. So it's correlating across all these different security services that you have. And when I click onto this one over here, you can see the information that comes up. So the information over here, you can see, is that we have potential credential stealing. EC2 instance with administrative instance profile has software vulnerabilities. So we have the overview, like the primary resource, the region, the account, the age of the finding, the contributing traits. So it's pulling all this information for you. So when I expand onto this, it shows you the configuration you can click over into and then there's vulnerabilities here. But the one I wanna highlight that's especially useful, if you see here, is the potential attack path. So when I full screen on this one, you can see right here, okay, we have the VPC in question that this resource is residing in, so this makes it really easy for you to know what's going on. So over here, I can zoom a little more, and you can see the VPC, the subnet that the EC2 is in, the instance itself and the Elastic Network Interface. So I can click onto it here and you can see the misconfiguration and the vulnerability. And of course, we can click onto the view resource details to go over into that specific resource. And then right here, we can see the attachment of the security groups, the volume, the network access control list to all the different resources. So this topology, this mapping of what's going on is really powerful. And this defining is the instance profile. And then when we expand on the IAM role here, we can see that there are excessive permissions being granted. For example, we have the IAM policies, we have the S3 full access, we have the SSM read only, we have IAM full access. So it means that this specific workload has excessive permissions. And of course, going back to the finding information here, we have the remediation example. So in this situation, we have the administrative access policy. So you probably want to remove that if there is no use of it. Typically, you would have much more tightened permissions than allowing, for example, identity and access management full permission and so on, all right? So we can see the resources in question, EC2 subnet, IAM role, and then we can do further investigation from it. So we can click view resource details, and then when you click onto it, you're expanding onto the resource information, all right? And of course, you can click onto findings, and you can see the following, right? Potential credential stealing, EC2 instance with administrative instance profile has software vulnerabilities. You can also click onto the traits tab, all right? And you can expand onto it over here. You can see the configuration and you can see the resource ID. So this allows you to move over and navigate to a specific resource configuration and take action from there.